One great solution that I may add to you is get mailing lists from the Chamber of Commerce or civic groups because the HIPAA law allows the use of community-wide mailing lists. Another thing also to be able to gain lists the right way is this. Do mass marketing and television and radio, make commercials, you know, go ahead and provide educational based marketing out there. Provide, you know, go to YouTube and market your programs out there, your services. There are so many other ways to be able to gain your own list legally. And isn't it amazing that if you actually are able to put together a list yourself, you are able to understand that the people that you were able to bring in your list, you already pre-qualified them for. Now, there are several ways in order to be able to increase and get your own list as you please that's going to be able to be detailed and definitely the type and the right people that you want to be able to get a hold of. Look, we want you to be careful out there when you are getting these lists because the last thing you want to do is get in trouble or go the other way of the law when you can actually have found out the right way of going out there and finding lists. Understand that the HIPAA laws are very strict and can cause a lot of problems when you violate them. So you need to be able to be careful about that. Now, touching basis on what we discussed earlier on about getting lists from people that possibly got the list the wrong way from other agencies that they've worked for, you know, I'm sure you heard about these stories where nurses were, are, trying, are leaving a certain agency, they didn't want to move to your agency, and they're offering you, they have 20, 30 patients that they've been taking care of and they want to see if they would transfer to you as well. Look, you want to be able to avoid these because honestly, look, they're bringing information from another company to you, okay? First of all, do you really want to violate any of those laws? I'm sure that you don't want to. They may give you the excuse, well, it's the patient's rights and the patients love me. I just don't want to work for that agency anymore. They may give that to you, but that's the last thing that you want to do. And understand, if they've done this for another agency and now they want to move to your agency, let me ask you this question. Do you think that they may actually do the same thing with you, with your current patients? So you want to be, be very wary about bringing in these type of people to work for your company. Go out there. There's a lot of ways of different uh, list building skills. We can definitely go and give you more information. Just give us a call or contact us at Home Health Success Academy. We'll be glad to go ahead and give you more information. You know, please continue on with all our other videos. You know, this is just the beginning, the start of a lot of our videos. Keep on going, and I congratulate you for joining us.